what's up guys, Sepp here and in this video I'm finally bringing you my Nokia Lumia 20 review. This one was sent to me by Connect or also known as Nokia Connect, so a big thank you to them for making this video possible, but also for making the Nokia Lumia 1320 unboxing video possible that you can go check out by pressing on this link, press on it, watch that video and also watch this video of course. And also be sure to press that subscribe button so you can catch up with any other content I will post in the coming weeks. And before we go into the actual review I do want to apologize for the lack of videos in the last weeks and I do also want to apologize for how long it took me to make this video so sorry for that but I had exams and I almost had no free time left. But in the coming weeks you can expect some very nice videos so be sure to press that subscribe button. And now let's have a look at the Nokia Lumia 1320 review. And to start off this review with I want to take a look at the design of the Nokia Lumia 1320 and the reason for that is because you cannot look at this phone without noticing that it is very very big. And the reason for that is because it has a 6 inch display, I will talk about the screen resolution a bit more later on. But with a 6 inch display your phone is very big and then you really need to think about where you're gonna place the buttons because when you have smaller hands you still want to be able to use a phone without having any problems using the buttons. And I have to say Nokia did a pretty good job on that because I had no problems using the phone howsoever. Maybe that is because I have pretty big hands but I think Nokia did a great job on the placement of the buttons which at the bottom we can find our micro USB port and at the right side we first have our camera button, then we have our power button and that is followed up by our volume rockers. And at the top we have our 3.5mm headphone jack and at the left side we have no buttons at all so that means that all the buttons are placed on the right side which makes it easier to access the buttons as long as you are not left handed and use your phone in your left hand because if you have small hands and you use your phone in your left hand I think you will have a bit of a problem because all the buttons are placed on the right side but that is just a minor detail. Now at the front we have our front facing camera and speaker that you use when we are calling somebody and under that we of course have our 6 inch display and under that we have the off screen capacitive buttons. The first button is to go back, the second button is to go back to your home screen and the third button is your search button and we will talk a bit more about the search function later on. And at the back we have our speaker followed by our LED flash and our 5 megapixel rear facing camera. Another cool thing that you can find at the back of the Nokia Lumia 1320 is that it has a removable backplate so you can purchase the backplate in all sorts of different colors so you can customize your Lumia 1320 a bit and that is very cool. And a good thing about the removable backplate is that it is very easy to remove so you will not have the problems like you will have with the Moto G now, you can easily remove the backplate so you can easily swap on a different one. And while we have removed the backplate, let's have a close look at what is there. We first have our SIM card tray, it is a micro SIM card that you need to use for the Lumia 320. And we also have our micro SD card slot where we can expand the storage up to 64 gigabytes and not 128 like the standard is now. But this is a bit of an older model so only up to 64 gigabytes but I think that is more than enough. And we can also see our battery but it is not user removable. But it is a 3400 mAh battery which is massive but again this is a massive phone and the battery was just great I could use it for three days straight with one charge and that is the only phone that I found that could do that because I'm using my Nexus 5 now and I can only use it for half a day if I really use it a lot and that is something I don't like and with the Nokia Lumia 1320 you really won't have a problem with the battery so you can use it for a very long time with one charge and that is very good. So now that we have removed the backplate and know a bit more about the battery let's have a closer look at the specifications of this device. I do have to mention that this device has not the highest specs out there but it really performs very well and I will talk a bit more about that later on. But for now let's have a close look at the specifications. So again this device is a 6 inch 720p resolution display with a resolution of 245 pixels per inch which is not again the highest resolution out there but it's a pretty nice resolution. It also has Gorilla Glass 3 which is pretty glossy but I have to say I did not have any problems with that. And Gorilla Glass 3 is very strong which is very good because that means you almost can get no scratches on the screen. We also have again the 3400 mAh battery which provides up to 3 days of usage in my case and it also has Bluetooth 4.0 it also has LTE slash 4G which is very good. The device itself is rocking a Snapdragon S4 1.7 GHz dual core processor. It has 1 GB of RAM and it has 8 GB of internal storage which is upgradable to 64 GB using a micro SD card. The front facing camera has a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels which is not the highest quality out there. And as a rear facing camera we have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash. 
So now that we know the specifications of the Nokia Lumia 1320, let's have a look at the software it is running. And this phone is running Windows Phone 8 and I know a lot of people out there don't really like it, but my experiences with Windows 8 were pretty good. I have to say I really enjoyed using it and it is completely different than iOS and Android, yes, but sometimes different is better. And I'm not saying that it is better than Android and iOS, but I have to say that it is very nice to use and yes, it has some bugs, but so does iOS and so does Android. But now let's have a close look at the Windows Phone 8 software on the Lumia 1320, starting with the live tiles. Now live tiles are something we cannot find on iOS and Android, and I have to say I really like it, because these are the shortcuts to your apps like you have on your Windows 8 computer, and when you tap on them you can of course open the app, but the live tiles also show the notifications you got from that app instead of having a notification sent, which Windows Phone 8 doesn't have. Yes, sometimes it can be irritating that you do not have a notification sender, but the live tiles are pretty cool and when you have the live tile for let's say your photos app, you can see photos that appear and when you have a live tile for the weather app, you can most of the time see what weather it's gonna be without opening the app and I have to say that's pretty nice. Of course you can adjust the size and the placement of the live tiles and that is a very nice way to customize your home screen. And then we also have Bing Search, so the button I was talking about a bit earlier on was the Bing Search button, so it was the third button, and when you pressed on it you would be redirected to the Bing Search app. And this is a pretty cool feature, but unfortunately, like the name itself says, it is only Bing Search, so you will not be able to search using Google using this button, but yeah, it is a cool feature to open a search app and then you can immediately search the web. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature, but unfortunately you only have support for Bing. And the next feature we have is called Glance, and Glance is a very, very, very cool and useful feature because when you take your phone out of your pocket, you will get this notification view, and I have to say I really use it a lot. Because normally you have to turn on your phone before you can see your notifications, but with Glance you have your time, you can see if an alarm is set, and you can also see what notifications you have. Of course not a very detailed view, but you can see if you have any mail or any text messages, or you missed a call, so I have to say that it's very nice and very useful. And you can customize the Glance feature too in the settings, so when you go to the Glance feature you can either choose to enable it when it's charging or not, and you can choose different colors for the night mode and you can also choose when it will appear only when you take it out of your pocket or the ambient light sensor sees a difference between dark and suddenly some light then it will turn on of course and yeah you have all sorts of different options and I really enjoyed using this glance feature and the next feature I really enjoyed about Windows Phone 8 was a double tap to unlock feature because with your phone you always have to press the power button or the home button to unlock it and with double tap to wake you can just double tap your screen and it will turn on and I just love that feature, I use it all the time. And actually you might say it uses a lot more battery and that can be true but I have to say I was able to use the Nokia Lumia 1320 for 3 days with one charge so yeah if I otherwise could use it 4 days I'm not complaining, 3 days is still more than enough especially for the phones nowadays, so yeah, I'm very happy with the battery life. And the double tap to unlock feature is very cool, so I would like to see that in every phone that is coming out from now, because it is a very handy feature. And next up is a the theme customization, and I mentioned it a bit earlier in this video, that you could customize your Nokia Lumia 1320 using different backplates, and then customize the theme. And the theme section basically allows you to customize your background and also the color of the live tiles. So for the background you unfortunately have only two options, black or white, but like you can see for the live tiles you have a lot of different colors, but I have to say I only use the black and orange colors, but like you can see white and blue is also very nice and when you swap on a different backplate you can customize the color of the live tiles to fit with that backplate and yeah, that's a very very cool way to customize your phone. Now of course when software is installed on your phone you do not only have some features included, you also have some pre-installed apps included and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. And one of my favorite apps of the Nokia Lumia 1320 that was pre-installed was the Here Maps. And like the name says, this is a Maps app from Nokia. And the reason why I liked it so much is not because I used it all the time, no, not at all actually, but it has some very, very cool features and the accuracy was very good. Because it could tell me where I lived, even with the number of my house, between two houses and it was on one number wrong so that is something very cool and you do not see that on Google Maps or any other Maps app because they cannot do it but for some reason Nokia does so yeah that is something that really blew my mind 
And another cool thing that also blew my mind was that you have a feature where you can look around in a 360 degree view using your camera and you can see which stores are close by and that is just an awesome feature because in that way you actually have a real life set nav so that is very cool you can use your camera and you can just walk to the store using your camera and get directions from the hair maps and that's just a very cool feature and I think it has some very great potential for maybe a set nav or other phones because yeah that that feature just blew my mind and I'm in love with that feature that really is a great feature in a great app because I never seen that before and yeah I just love that feature because it is awesome. You, If you are ever going to test the Lumia out, be sure to test that feature out because it is really awesome. Like I already said, I'm, I'm in love with it. Go check it out. But of course, the Here Maps app was not the only app that can pre-installed. And I will take a closer look to the other apps later on in this video. But now I want to take a look at the Windows Phone App Store. Because when you buy a smartphone, the biggest reason is to install other apps on the phone to do different things and I have to say that in the Windows Phone App Store there is a lack of apps. For example you cannot install Snapchat because there is no Snapchat app, you have only Instagram in beta, it's not out in the full version yet and you only have one Google app and it's Google Now Search. So yes there is a lack of productivity apps in the Windows Phone App Store but I have to say that in terms of gaming apps there was a pretty big choice. Yes, the most recent games were not available, like Real Racing 3, it was not available on Windows Phone 8 yet, maybe it will come soon, I don't know, but most games were available, so that is very good. And also I did not find any game that was not running smooth on the Nokia Lumia Turin 20, so that is very good. Like you can see, I installed this app, and it's a racing game, because I love racing games, and yes, you can see my driving skills are not so good while recording. And like you can see there are no frames drop and there is almost no lag so that is a very very good thing especially when you know how low the specifications of this device are. So Microsoft did a great job in terms of software developing because the software runs smooth and yeah that's the most important thing of a smartphone that it runs smooth. It doesn't matter how low the specifications are as long as it keeps running smooth that is very good so they did a great job on that. But now let's get back to another pre-installed app and that is a camera app and I have to say I really enjoyed using the camera app. I took a lot more pictures than I normally do with my normal phone so I guess Lumia makes you take pictures and that is very good. And yes it only has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera this particular device because Nokia also has some smartphones with 41 megapixel rear facing cameras and 20 megapixel rear facing cameras so this one has a bit of a low resolution quality camera but I have to say the pictures came out very good. But there was also something I didn't like about the camera app and that is that you were not able to either zoom in and zoom out while you are recording and you could also not tap to focus while recording. So when you wanted to zoom in you had to stop recording and zoom in and the same for zooming out you had to stop recording and zoom out again and then start recording again to zoom in and zoom out and that is something that is very irritating when you want to zoom and also when you want to tap to focus that feature was not available not even in the settings itself so it is only automatically focused and that is something I don't like because with a camera app on your phone you really want to tap to focus because sometimes you see something far away I don't know and you want to tap on it to focus and with the Windows Phone 8 software it was not possible maybe they will fix that in Windows Phone 8.1 I don't know I haven't tested it out yet I hope to do so of course but for now with Windows Phone 8 it was not available because when you tap to focus you would stop recording and nothing would happen so that is very unfortunate. I do have to say I did not take any pictures when it was dark so yeah you might do that a lot but I don't do that at all so that's the reason why I didn't do it but if you would like to see that the next time in the next phone review be sure to leave that in the comments down below so I can keep that in mind to do it the next time. So yeah, that is a camera app and I will leave a link to all my pictures I took with the Lumia Turin 20 in the comments down below so you can all check them out. And maybe I will even do a camera test of the Nokia Lumia Turin 20 in the future because I still have some footage left from a camera test so I might publish that video very soon, I don't know. If you want to see it, be sure to leave a comment down below saying that you want to see it so I can make it happen and if you do not want to see it, of course, I will not publish it then. So next up I want to take a look at the lock screen because that is somewhere I spent actually a lot of time because 
I most of the time unlock my phone to see what time it is and to see what notifications I have and I know with glance that it's not needed anymore but still I still unlock the phone quite a lot just to see what time it is because I'm used to looking at my lock screen for that so I unlock it quite a lot and with the Windows Phone 8 software you are able to customize your lock screen and I do not mean with customizing by adding widgets and everything like that, no. But you can say you want Twitter as your lock screen. And like you can see I did that. And then we'll see one of the most recent tweets, I guess it is. I still haven't figured that out, but you will see a tweet that just has appeared. And then you will see that tweet on your lock screen and you can do the same for Facebook and the same for a weather app and the same for almost every social app. So that is very cool that you can customize your lock screen. And yeah, I have to say that when you customize your lock screen and you went to your settings to switch from an app, it did not work instantly. So you always had to go to the app to activate it as your lock screen. And that is maybe a bug in Windows Phone 8, I don't know. But that's something that a bit bothered me. But I had set up Twitter as my lock screen, so I didn't change it so often. But I have to say that's a very, very cool feature. And I would like to see that on any other device. So Apple, Google maybe put it in your software i don't know but it's a very cool feature but now let's get back to another pre-installed app and this app is called internet explorer and this is your standard browser app on any lumia device and it also was my standard browser app because there is no google chrome app available in the app store so i had to use it but i'm gonna say something about it that i never thought i would say and it is internet explorer is fast and that is something i really never thought i would say but it is a truth, when you're browsing on 4G, which is the fastest mobile network available right now, it is very fast and even when you're browsing on your Wi-Fi, it is just so fast. Loading pages, zooming in, zooming out, everything goes very smooth and that is something I really enjoyed about it. And it is maybe weird that Internet Explorer is fast, but the mobile version of Internet Explorer is so fast, it is so good and yeah i really enjoyed using internet explorer on the lumia 1320 and reading an article on the lumia 1320 is just a joy because the screen is so good i just love the screen i really do and yeah it just is a great experience using internet explorer on the lumia 1320 and while we are talking about 4g there is something i didn't like about it and that is the fact that every time you want to turn it on you have to go to your settings and it was for me the first time a bit difficult to find it because in a settings menu it's not an alphabetical order and you also have no pictures at the side of it to identify what is that particular setting. Yes, you have the text, but in that way it is a bit difficult to find it. So that is the thing I didn't like about it, that you every time had to go to the settings and look for it. Because even after two weeks of usage, I couldn't find it directly. So that is a bit of a bad thing about it. But yeah, it's not such a big issue. Because actually the settings are pretty nice, you have a lot of settings, a lot of different things you can adjust, so that is very nice. But I would like to see a different settings menu, because it is a bit unclear at the moment. So maybe add some pictures, or put it in an alphabetical order, so it is easier for us to find the settings. But beside of that, yeah, the settings app is very nice, you have a lot of options again. So actually it is a pretty good settings app. But now let's have a closer look at the screen and the speakers, and I do have to say that I recorded this footage only with my Nikon D3100, so I did not have the Zoom H1 by then, so the audio quality of the speakers is not the best, but yeah, let's just have a look at the screen quality and audio quality. <laughs> and like you can see, the screen quality is just very good it is very clear the audio quality is also very good and this was not at the highest volume yet so yeah the volume is very clear and again i just love the screen on the nokia lumia 1320 i love using it and it is just a joy to look at it when you are using the glance feature you still can see some pixels so maybe they need to put a 1080p screen in the next version of the lumia 1320 but for now 720p is more than good enough and yeah, I just loved using that screen and I love listening to the speakers of the phone. So in the end, would I recommend the Nokia Lumia 1320 to you? Yes, I would. It has a great battery, the screen is great, the build quality is very solid and everything runs very smooth on it. So I guess that is what you're looking for in a smartphone. But the lack of apps is something that would stop me from making the switch from my Nexus 5 to a Nokia Lumia device because I do use a lot of Google services all the time and I also use Snapchat and some other apps that are not available in the Windows Phone store so that is something that bothers me 
but it might not bother you so I don't know this is something very personal since this is a phone that is not running Android or iOS so it is Windows phone and your software is probably something very personal and I cannot really decide whether you will like it or not. I really enjoyed using it and I have never used it before. I'm used to iOS and Android and for me it was very nice to use it but I don't know if you will enjoy it but I think you will. So I would really recommend this phone to you if you are looking for a new phone that isn't too expensive since you will really enjoy using it. I'm pretty sure of that. So guys, I guess this wraps up my review of the Nokia Lumia 1320. Again, thanks to Connect for making this video possible and also for making my unboxing video possible, which you can check out by pressing on this link. I will leave a link to both of Connect's their Instagram and Twitter in the description down below so you can go check them out. And if you do not know whether to go for a Lumia device or not, you can go ask Connect on Twitter for a review unit and they will send you one so you can try out the Lumia for about two weeks and after that you can decide to whether buy one or not but if you are thinking to buy the Lumia 1320 I would recommend you to just go to the store and buy it because it really is worth its money and you will not regret buying it because it is a joy to use it so if you are thinking to buy it go to the store and go buy it and you will not regret it. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up and also press that subscribe button that will appear here and it's somewhere else next to this screen i don't know where it is but please press it and you will be the first one to see my further video coverage of any other technology product and i would really appreciate it if you would press that button so please press the subscribe button i would really appreciate it and yeah if you would have any suggestions for in my next full review or for in any video or if you would like to see another video be sure to leave them in the comments down below so i can keep it in mind and maybe make that particular video or put that particular element in the next video so i can make better videos that you guys like to see so be sure to do that so yeah thanks for watching and i will catch you next one peace